Now, as you're getting ready to create a slideshow for your website, you will probably find that it's helpful to do all of your resizing, framing, cropping, that type of thing uh, inside a program, an image editor like Photoshop. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you a few quick tricks and tips of how to do this very easily and efficiently. Let's open up our Photoshop. And the first thing we want to do is create our, a new document. So under File, hit New. And uh, here's where we can punch in the size of the images that we want to use in our slideshow. And this will vary depending on your needs. Some people might want to create a slideshow that's just a nice small square uh, box off in the corner. Uh, for my purposes, uh, for the website that I'm working on, I want to create a, a slideshow that has a nice wide aspect ratio kind of like a widescreen presentation of some of uh, the images that I've taken. And so I'm going to create one that has the width that is almost the full size of the presentation area of, of my new template from Rocket Theme. We know that it's 1,200 pixels in width, so I'm going to just go really crazy wild here and create a slideshow that has a width of 1,100. And then... Uh, a height of something like 320. We'll see how that works. And uh, then down here in background, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can set it to transparent or, or have a background color. Let's just leave it at transparent. That's fine. Hit the OK button. And here you are presented with uh, the size that the slideshow images are going to be. So you can see it's a nice wide aspect ratio. Now the trick is to choose images that are going to work with inside this window. And by creating this window to start with, this file size that we're going to end up with, and dragging our images into this project and cropping and resizing to fit this window, what we're going to end up with is beautifully framed images for this aspect ratio that are all the same size. So let's go to uh, a folder where we have uh, made some pics for this slideshow. I'm going to hit the open button. And here we have some images that we, we've gone through some of our image folders and picked out some that we thought might work for this particular slideshow. Now it's a little hard to tell as you're grabbing images whether they will work or not. That's kind of part of the process of bringing them into this window and moving them around, uh, resizing them, cropping them. Uh, I say crop, it won't quite work that way, but uh, you get the idea. So let's give it a try. Let's uh, open up one of these images. And because these are quite large JPEGs that we have created right from our camera raw files, you might find it helpful to resize these images even before you bring them into our open window. So let's resize them. Control, Alt, I, and, and let's just change the width to something like, oh, 1500. Uh, will give us a little breathing room and uh, wiggle room to, to move things around if we want and if we need to. And now hit the control and the A key together to select that whole image. You'll see the little border that uh, appears around the image. And then hit the control C key and then go up to the top and switch back to your window there and hit the control V key. And this brings our image in. And then over here at the very top, by having this Move tool selected, we can now go to the image, point to it with our mouse, and move it around. And as you do, you have the opportunity to use your artistic eye and come up with something that is pleasing, something that uh, kind of follows the rules of thirds. If you want to resize the image uh, with your Control key, hold down the T key, and that will put you into the transform mode of Photoshop. And if you move the image around a little bit, you'll see the large border surrounding your image. This represents the top of your image and the side of your image. And by being in the transform mode like this, this will allow you the opportunity to resize your image while you watch the process happen live. And that will help you decide how much smaller you really want to make it.
Okay, now the trick uh, h here is to hold down the shift key while you do your resizing, and that will keep everything in proportion as you resize. If you don't hold the shift key down, notice what happens when you start dragging your mouse around. Everything gets squished, nothing stays in proportion, and we don't want that. Now to undo this, you can't really hit the control uh, undo key, the control Z key. What you have to do first of all is hit the enter key, and then do the undo key, control Z. So we've got our image back. Hit the control T again to resize, and this time hold your shift key down and now you can see that everything stays proportionate as you as you make your move. Now let's drag this up. I think I'm okay with something like that for this one. Let me bring it in just a little bit more. And when you're happy with the way that you framed and resized your image, then you can just hit the enter key and you're ready to save your first slideshow image. Go up to File and Save As, or if you've learned your keyboard shortcut for this, all the better. Control Shift S for Save As. And uh, then down uh, at the bottom where it says Format, let's open that up and choose JPEG as our file type, and then uh, let's give it a name. And oh, we can probably just use uh, F, PSS for front page slideshow and then do 001 for your first image and then uh, hit the save button. Okay, let's go after our next image, open, and let's try uh, these uh, huts in Ethiopia. And again, we might want to resize just to make this easier. I would, I would suggest just you know, setting up a batch and um, uh, changing everything to, you know, 1500 in width. However, as you work with some images, it's helpful to be able to choose a larger size. So I usually like to do this manually one by one. Control A to select it, Control C to copy it, and then go back to our window and hit Control V. And now we can move that around. Resize it if we want. Until you get something that you like, hit the Enter key and Control Shift S to save it. Select JPEG. And what I usually do is just to go up and point to the last file and just click on it lightly once and then change the uh, file number from one to two, hit enter and hit the OK button, and I'm ready to go after my next image. And we can just start going through these. And you don't have to resize them. If you're comfortable resizing using your transform mode, uh, then just simply do a control A, copy the large image, control C, go over to your window, and hit the control V key. And this time you have a much larger image and so when you use your transform key, you're gonna have to, with your shift key held down, remember, uh, move this around a little bit more. You can see how this is just a little bit more tedious to do it this way. But eventually you get there. And Control shift f to save it, select JPEG, and change that to 3. And once you've done this for a few times, you can get into quite a rhythm and do it very quickly, so it doesn't really take uh, as long as you might think. So open up, and uh, let's check the next one. I think I prefer to uh, resize them, so Control Alt I, and this time I might choose something more like 1800. Control A, Control C, switch over to our window, Control V, uh, Control T to resize. And uh, we could move this up. I think we, we could probably leave it just like that, but I think I'm going to resize it just a little bit. Control T and 
with your shift key held down, remember. Resize it a little bit. And enter when you've got what you like, and control shift s to save. And just a couple more. You get the idea how to do this. Resize, I think 1500, and control A, control C, move to your window, control V, move it up. And that's probably fine just the way it is. Control Shift S to save. And the JPEG, change it to 5. And save. Let's do one more. Resize, copy, paste. And I think we're going to have to resize this one. So Control T, Shift down, and let's make this a little smaller. And you may find that some just don't work. Uh, in order to see enough of the sheep, we lose the person's head even when we've got it uh, as small as it can get. Sometimes you just have to hit the enter key and uh, rather than save it, move on to your next one. Sometimes when you get an image open, you see that uh, perhaps there's just a little bit too much grain in the shot and you might decide you don't want to use it for your slideshow. Let's maybe go for one of these beach shots. Well, I'd like to see just a little bit more of the palm tree. Let's see what happens when we resize this. Sometimes when you hit the control T, you can't see any borders at all. You just have to move it a little bit for them to show up. Shift key down, and let's resize this. There, I think that's a little better. We've got a little bit more room to work with. Let's see if we... Yeah, see, just a little bit more of those palm trees. Something like that. Hit the Enter key, Control Shift S to save. Choose our JPEG and change that to six and save it. So there you go. Uh, you see how easy it can be to create standardized, uh, resized images all the same size, and yet you have the ability to very easily and quickly shape these. Uh, uh, we, we don't, we're not really cropping, but we're, we're kind of repositioning them using this method, this little trick. And uh, that way we're able to get uh, images framed just the way we want for our slideshow. Now, just one more thing to point out before we finish up here. After you have uh, created your images, it's a good idea to make sure that you save this as a Photoshop file, a layered Photoshop file. You look over here under layers, you see all of the images that we've, we've worked on. And that way, uh, down the road, if you want to come back and reposition any one of them, uh, let's say after you watch them online for a couple of times and you say, you know, I didn't really do the best on the positioning of that when I want to go back and change it well it's very easy then to just open up your layered Photoshop file find the right image and just bump it up a little bit and save it again and uh, also further down the road you know a couple months down the road you might want to swap images out and so if you have this saved file with the proper dimensions it's very easy to come back and make changes make additions swap things out okay well I think that uh, that does it for resizing images for slideshows in Photoshop.